So we're out here in Arizona and we're going to show you the fire suppression units that Pipeworks is building out here and it's what it is is built out of recycled oil filled pipe. It's real heavy pipe. We tried plastic 15 years ago. That stuff either melts or it gets brittle and it breaks. Aluminum, that aluminum pipe, it just wants to dump over or blow over if the wind comes up. It's always cracking from heat and cold and it, aluminum won't work. And so what we finally did, we came down to, to the oil filled pipe, which we've always worked with anywhere. I've been building pipe and welding for 50 years this year. And so over the years I've patented the only weldable pipe connectors in the United States. So we take and we'll cut the side out of a pipe and we open up we open up the pipe to where the water flows through and then we just slap a fitting on there and then we can get a we can get a guaranteed connection that won't leak and we can pressure test and certify these things down and so we we own the patents on on that stuff so we've got the utility patents and design patents on different style fittings like these are these are little small ones these are the combination fitting that will fit two and seven eighths and then the smaller pipe that fits two and three eighths on the two and three eighths pipe. So anyway, so that kind of gets the that gets the the gist of how we connect the pipe. And so right now we've got Colorado's burning up, California's burning up. There's forest fires everywhere in the whole western part of the United States. Nobody was building anything that you could protect a home with, or your property, or your livestock, or yourself, for that matter. And so, what we've done, we've taken a four and a half inch oil fill pipe down here, and then we've connected it to the two and seven eighths, and we've opened all this stuff up, so all the pipe in here is all open, and it's all connected, and it's basically become like a pressured, air compressor tank. So to tell how many pounds we're running, then we put we put a, a liquid air gauge on here and then we can tell our pressures we're running. So what we'll do is we'll run these things anywhere between 100 and 130 pounds pressure. And these these cannons here, these are actually these are built over in Italy and and these we can put we can put different size nozzles in them but they were made to run at 200 pounds pressure so they work really good at 130 pounds and these particular units here are designed to set on the side of a mountain or like a lot of people will have their house on a hill so then we anchor these we have legs outriggers that go on here and so we'll, we'll drop in different length legs outriggers in here and then what comes with a each one it comes with a it comes with a two foot stake that's cut off the end of the sucker rod in the oil field and that gives a good solid two foot stake to drive in the ground and anchor those things to the side of the mountain that way wind and all the water going out to to soak these houses down during the wildfires or pre-soak them before the fire even gets there. That way that that timber, your house, things around your property are moist and then when the fire does turn on you and 90% of the time out here in the west now they're gonna because it's just dry, the weather system Fire departments can't keep up, you know, we're flying DC-10s and, you know, just all, you can't keep up to these fires. So, we can move, we can mobilize these things quick. We have this style that anchor to the side of the hill. We have the other styles that, that have axles on them that don't have these outriggers on. We can piggyback them down the highway, pull them down forest roads, split them up. Each one of these will do. 300 feet wide, 300 feet long, and so four of them would just do a thought. It would do a half a mile, 300 feet wide, and then plus that gets 
that takes the place of bringing in all that heavy equipment and all that money going out, which we used to do, which I used to do. We'd, we'd go in there with the dozers and we'd knock down all the timber and cut big fire breaks and there'd be big butcher marks in the forest and and now these they just take the place of that they wet things down cool that air so when that fire is creating its own weather that half mile stretch of cool air because of the water being sprayed at 150 feet one way those ambers hit that and they drop right to the ground and stop right there so it's a lot quicker, it's simpler, it's more cost effective. You can haul the water to that stuff because water's being hauled to, to the fires anyway. The tanks that we set up, there's one tank at the end with a pump, real simple. And the helicopters can even come in and drop that water into those tanks. But when it's set up around the property, you just fill those tanks off your well. Or you're, if you're on city, you just, you just run a tap to that tank makes it really simple but the main thing is is, is it saves it, it, it really it'll save lives and, and property and I mean that fire goes on by your house your property is still there and you're out mowing your yard and then the other people down there they're losing their houses because there's just no way that fire departments can keep up to the wind blowing through there with a wildfire there's just no way possible so this gives an added protection because now, just on the news the other night, there was a, they came on there, you can't even get insurance if you're in the fire prone areas on your houses. So if you've got a one, two, three, four million dollar house and you're sitting there and you can't get insurance on it, what are you gonna do? You know, it's, you got somebody had to do something. So we've started building these, which are sturdy, they're bulletproof, they last forever. We can move them in there temporary when the fire season's over, which that's a hard pressed deal now because there is no fire season. It's year round. And so, anyway, we can turn around and make these things permanent and or temporary. And it just kind of fits what you have because we can custom build all this stuff too. But anyway, that's what we were kind of wanting to do was we were wanting to show you know, what we were building, how far these things spray, what they use, and, and so you set up a tank, you set up the pump, you hook these things up, you can start these things from your phone, start them from your computer, start them on floats, you don't even have to be there, and you can run these things from the evacuation center or out having a stake, you can look at your you can look at your property because there will be there will be cameras mounted around there that will show infrared for when the ambers are in the air that shuts the vents on your house that we manufacture also and then it'll turn the pumps on the pump for your property and then it'll spray your house and your horse barn I mean God forbid out in Napa last year they lost 50 horses in one barn and, and I talked to some of the firefighters that were there, and if we would have had these things there, we would have saved all those horses. So that's kind of another reason I really got on this thing, because nobody else was doing anything. I own the patents on all these connections. I own the patents on the fire suppressors now. And so we're in manufacturing, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start manufacturing these things just as fast as we can put them out and then get them out to the people so they can put them around their house. So we'll do the setups, we'll haul them out there, we'll set up the pumps in the tank, and all you have to do is get the code on your phone to start your pump. And then, then that gives you that, that chance to have insurance on your house again. So once again, basically this is what it's all built out of, is recycled, heavy oil-filled pipe, that we've turned into a product that will save lives, property, livestock, and and that's kind of where we're at right now. So we're looking at, at uh, every avenue we can to get the cost down to help the people get these things installed. So anyway, thanks for watching what we had to offer here, and we'll be putting this on YouTube, we'll get it on 
We're going to try and get it on TV. I'd like to have one of the TV stations do a little bit of of uh, acknowledgement for this because it's finally here. There's finally somebody building something and it's all made in the USA. This is US steel and uh, actually uh, Rooster McConaughey and his partner, they own half of US steel and this is what we make it out of in our US manufacturing plant, US steel, US workers, US patents and we own all the patents in the manufacturing so we're not going to let up until everybody's got this wrapped around their house to where they can feel safe to sleep at night. So anyway, that's about what we have going here. And I appreciate it again. It's Pipeworks LLC and that's azpipeworks.com is what you go to. And you can look at our website and we've got the website started on this stuff now and there should be videos uplinked on it shortly. Thank you.